Okay, here's the problem. Uh, today we need to find uh, antiderivatives, integrals, indefinite integrals. This is technically referred to as an indefinite integral. In order to evaluate or find an indefinite integral, we take an antiderivative, generally speaking. So, uh, you know, this is what we want to evaluate. How is this different from what we've currently been doing? The thinners? Oh, the, the beginning and the end. Okay, well, well, we talked about... Okay, so uh, for example, I mean, I have done this before. I mean, we've done the integral of x dx, which is simply equal to x squared over 2 plus c. And we, we've done that. We just did that a few days ago. But... The differences in this situation is that we have a composition. Sean Laurie sees it. We we have a we have three x in there. That's problematic because we don't know the antiderivative of sine of three x, do we? We know the antiderivative of sine of x, don't we? What is the antiderivative of sine of x? Negative cosine of x. And so, just like you used a process of substitution, okay, uh, we could continue to do that. We can use substitution. So uh, this is uh, notes 5.5, integration by substitution. We are going to take this step by step. I want you guys to be excellent at this because this is really a foundation for where uh, you kind of head on in calculus too. So let's make sure we do a really good job here. And, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to substitute something. Namely, the 3x causes a problem for me, doesn't it? So I'm going to make this substitution, okay? I'm going to say that u is equal to 3x. <laughs> now, what I want to be able to do is I want to replace everything up here. I want to replace everything up here with something with u. So you see a 3x. I also need to get rid of this dx. And dx, uh, so we're going to skip a whole lot of theory here. We're going to try to jump to the quick points. But um, if you look at this problem up here, what, is, uh, what does delta x represent? The width. <laughs> what does dx represent up there? The, the, the width. Now, I want you to think about this, okay? Not just the width, but think about in terms of slope of a line. Okay, what do we take, what do we do with that width right there? What do we do with it? We, what does it move towards? Moves towards zero. So dx is really the change. And when we were doing calculus during the very first uh, semester, we took the change between the two points and we brought them closer together, right? And so that was really the change that we were focusing on. So dx is another way of, of thinking about rate of change or a derivative. Namely, we can write it like this. Okay? <coughs> du is equal to, what is the derivative of 3x? 3 dx, meaning I took the derivative with respect to x. Derivative with respect to u, derivative with respect to x. Okay? All right? Now, let's look up here. Do you see a 3x up there? Do you see a 3dx up there? I see a 1dx. So I have to make just 1dx. What will I do? Divide by 3. So I have 1 third du is equal to dx. This is extremely important that you understand this step in particular. Where will this one-third du go in for? Where will this u go in for? I will now write a new integral. The integral of what? 
sine of u, one-third du. Now, we talked about what we could do with that one-third, didn't we? I mean, that's a constant. It can move anywhere. Um, I could put it in front. In fact, I could move it on the outside if I want to. I could say this is the same as one-third times the integral of sine of u du. I'll make it really easy on myself. What is the integral of sine of u du? Negative cosine times one-third. It, it goes away because we found an antiderivative. So it just it just goes away. Now, you guys, um, I, I want to practice this today. You're going to have a large assignment next week, but we're not going to have a large assignment today by any means. But I want you to feel very comfortable with the very basics of this because there are ones that, that do get more difficult. But I just want to practice some very basic problems. So I'm going to give you one I would like you to try right now, okay? So here's what I would like you to do. Negative 3 cosine of 2x dx. Follow the same process. Yes, the, the negative 3 makes it a little bit different, but I think you should be able to work through that. Give it a shot. See what you come up with, okay? I, I really just want to practice this, okay? I want you guys to feel very good about it. What did you choose your substitution to be? So if u is equal to 2x... And du is equal to 2dx. Now, here's the whole idea. I do not have a 2dx. If I had a 2 available up here, then that will be fine, but I don't. And so I need to solve just for the dx by dividing by 2. So 1 half du is equal to dx. So now I make my substitution. I'm going to pull my negative 3 out front. In fact, I'm going to pull my 1 half out front too. Cosine of, what is my new variable? U. DU. You guys, I my trig students right now are asking me, Mr. Gens, can we stop writing U or theta or X every time and, and just write, you know, cosine? And my response is, no, you cannot. So... This is very important because we are substituting variables. Please continue to write u and du as you are doing this. And again, I'll, I'll bring it back to the point when I was in college. Like I said, I got the test right, but I didn't write du. My professor took two points off for that on the test, simply as a notational piece. 100. Uh, a 14. So, um, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Please just watch. Please just watch. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake the first time I taught it to you. Look, what's the antiderivative of cosine of u? Sine of u. Sine of u. So the, what needs to go back in for the U? The original 2X. Yes, I'm sorry. I was so, I was just thinking too hard about, yeah, I was thinking too hard about, um, I'm sorry. OK, 
Okay, so uh, <laughs> so Ashley Ashley asks Ashley asks a very good question. She says, "You know, could we have left it the same right away?" Um, once you get really good with this, just like some of you guys were able to do the chain rule inside your head, some of these you're going to be able to do just inside your head. However, there are some that are more difficult, and I, I, I'm going to do an example of one right now that, that's just a little bit different, okay? So any questions there? We're okay? All right. Let's... So, so the first example, if, if we just simply look back at it, uh, my apologies. At the end, th this is correct. It's it's cosine of u, but uh, so what we should do is um, – we, we need to put our substitution back in, namely 3x. Brady, what's up? Yeah, how, how, how do you like that? Boys and girls, chain rule. No, chain rule is when we take the derivative. What we are doing is we are really reversing, reversing the chain rule. It, it is. It is a reverse chain rule process. And so the first thing I'm going to encourage you to do is, is write it like this. This is the first thing I'm going to tell you to do. Uh, write it like this. 4 times x times 3x squared plus 2 to the fourth power dx. I think that anytime you uh, put the constant outside first when you're doing substitution will help you keep from making simple mistakes. To quote Taylor Blake yesterday as he was taking his test, he said, wow. Simple mistakes really do kill you. Did you not say that? Yes, you did. The, the question is at this point, what do we substitute in for u? What is u equal to? Any, any guess? Now, here's kind of the trick. As you get better at this, you'll say to yourself, what do I put in for u? And here's the question I ask myself. What can I take the derivative of to get something that's left over. And the fact is, if I take the derivative of 3x squared, I get 6x. So that will account for my x. So I ask, what do I take the derivative of that will give me something that's left over in the problem here? So let's set it up. u is equal to 3x squared plus 2. What is du equal to? Six x dx. Now let's let's carefully examine the problem. Where can this u go in for up here? Yeah, you you can see that this three x plus two is accounted for right there, and that u can go in for that. I have this x right there. So I, I want to keep the x over here, and I have a dx right there. What do I not have up here that I have down here? A 6. So I need to get rid of that 6. I'm going to divide by 6, and I get 1 over 6 du is equal to x dx. And now I'm going to be able to make my substitution. Namely, my substitution will look like this. I'm going to pull the 1 6 out front as well. Is that okay? Which would reduce to 2 thirds. I will deal with that later. 
I have the integral of, instead of 3x squared plus 2, what do I have? u to the fourth power. What I have this x and this dx. What goes in for the x and the dx? du. Well, not just du, but one-sixth du, and we have our six out front. So, do you know how to find the integral of u to the fourth du? What is it? u to the fifth over five. So, I'm going to keep my four-sixths will reduce to two-thirds times. I'll deal with that in a second. u to the fifth over 5 plus C. Plug it in. This becomes 2 times 3x squared plus 2 to the 5th power over 15 plus C. So that's a substitution technique. And I hope that you can see that trying to identify that this is the antiderivative from where you begin is not so obvious. And so this technique is um, it's, it's pretty useful. It's very useful. Furthermore, if I wanted to check to see if my answer was right, what would I do? Take the derivative of this, and I should get my original function. We're not going to do that. You try one. Today? Well, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have a work day on it, but we're, we're going to practice a ton of them. Okay, there's your problem. Give it a shot. You can do it. Okay, shh. Uh, you guys, your, your, your book goes from basic to, to harder pretty quickly. Shh. So I'm writing six problems down that uh, you can, uh, so, uh, so this was notes. I would keep this uh, sheet of notes open because we're going to practice more problems, but I'm going to let you get started on, on six problems um, that you can do all on your own, no problems, okay? So here you go. I'll, I'll come show you guys. Let me write these on the board real quick, okay? Okay, uh, there, there's your problems. I think that these are excellent examples. You need more? Try working on those six, you guys, okay? Try working on those six to start out with. 